Hi there, thanks for tuning in to a brand new video on the YouTube channel of Dart Counter. This is gonna be a very valuable one. You can subscribe underneath if you haven't done so and please leave a thumbs up if you like this one. I would really appreciate it. Thank you. Today I'm going over five tips and tricks to make you a better darts player. Starting off with number one, your position at the hockey. Your position at the hockey is one of the most important things in darts. It's the foundation of your results. Try it yourself. Throw 100 darts by standing left, throw 100 darts by standing in the middle, and throw 100 darts by standing right against the hockey. You should aim for the 20 all the time. There's no need to hit a treble 20, but just keep focusing on the 20. Hitting the 20 gives you two points, hitting the one or five gives you one point, and when you throw outside all of those, it's zero points. Calculate the score of all three positions, and the position with the highest score is the best for you. The second one is keep your body still, keep it balanced. Darts is all about precision. In football we talk about meters, but in darts we talk about inches and fewer than that. And that's why your body posture is so extremely important. When you move your body too much, it will definitely affect your throw, so find yourself a comfortable position to stand. Always make sure that you're standing still and you only let your forearm do the job. The third tip I've got for you to become a better darts player is to use a sideline. Right before you throw your darts, of course, you're aiming them on where you want them to land. And you're doing this with a sideline. Think of it as an invisible line from your eyes through your darts to the place on the dartboard where you want to throw. The fourth one, and also a really important one, is to follow through your throw with your arm. We still see a lot of darts players doing this wrong. Just throwing like this and not following through with the arm. This is a very important one because without following through, every throw will be different, so your result will be different. A great rule to follow is that your fingers should be pointing down at the end of your throw. If they're pointing up, you're doing it all wrong. Always keep that in mind. The fifth and last tip I'm gonna give you today is challenge the dart counter dart bot. Of course, you're not always around other people, so a great way to challenge yourself and become better and better in darts is challenge the dart bot of dart counter. You can download the Dart Counter app for free from the App Store or Play Store. After downloading and installing it, you can set the Dart Bot on an average between 20 and 120, of course, depending on your own level. After that, you can set up the whole match and it's game on. Just enter your own scores and the scores of the Dart Bot will be calculated automatically based on the average you've set. This is a great way to improve your darts level and, of course, you always have an opponent this way. That was it for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please leave in the comments what kind of videos you want to see more on the Dart Counter YouTube channel. You can subscribe underneath if you haven't done so. Please leave a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And we're gonna see you next time. Cheers.